Welcome, everybody, to the Ed Hoddle Show for the first week of the 2023 season as the Mustangs get set for their opener Thursday night football in the Garden State as they take on the Profs of Rowan. I'm James Wagner, Assistant Athletic Director for Athletic Communications, joined here by Coach Ed Hoddle. And, Ed, uh, another season started, preseason winding up. How did preseason go for you guys? Uh, it went well. You know, I thought we got out of the preseason relatively healthy. Um, some bumps and bruises, et cetera. But overall, pretty pleased with the work we were able to get done and how, how healthy we came out of it. Well, great. You had two scrimmages, obviously. You had one against Bridgewater, one against Shenandoah, and now you're getting ready for a live opponent. Um, how did those two scrimmages go? Well, I think it was it, it actually played itself out very well for us, having to get on a bus and go get off a bus and play. Um, we've got a couple of day trips on the schedule later on in the year, and obviously the opener being a day trip. So it was kind of a dress rehearsal for that type of scenario. You know, much of our Mac travel, about 65% is overnight. So it's hotel, it's a different type of schedule. So um, obviously both of those teams have been historically pretty good. They're both of them are very physical. Um, and I think, again, it, it suits what we're going to see at Rowan very well tomorrow night. Well, let's talk about, the, obviously, the three parts of the, of the game. First, let's talk about the offensive unit. Um, what can we expect out of the Mustangs offensively this year? We want to be efficient offensively. Um, you know, we want to execute the game plan. We want to be efficient um, in what we're doing, and, and we want to move the chains. You know, that really is as simple as it gets. Obviously, you know, we don't want to turn the ball over those fundamental type game changing type things that can happen to you. Um, but really, we want to be efficient in what we do. We want to be calculated in what we do. And, and, and you know, and I think our offense is fun. There's some fun elements to our offense as well. So you know, that's kind of what we envision the season looking like. And let's talk about the defensive end. Obviously, good offense can have a good defense as well. What's what can we expect on the defensive side of the ball? You know, lots of experience returning defensively. We're certainly excited about it. Um, you know, it's it's going to be an, an interesting mix of guys from time to time, um, guys playing some different positions at times than, than what we've seen them do before. Might see some defensive linemen back in coverage from time to time, which is certainly exciting for them. Um, so, you know, a little bit of a different scheme. But again, you know, being fundamentally sound, flying to the football, tackling well. Um, you know, first games are notorious for poor tackling. Uh, because the way we've evolved practice and we've kind of kept an eye on that as we've gone through the preseason. So um, going to be an exciting year for that side of the ball for sure. And finally, talk about the special teams. Um, special teams have to be special. You, you know, we, we drill those guys all the time in different scenarios. Um, you know, their practice is much different than most everybody else's. You know, we work bad snaps. We work good snaps. We work high snaps. We work low snaps. Uh, you know, tried out a bunch of different guys in different scenarios uh, throughout camp. So, you know, again, you know, having, you know, Brody back, um, you know, certainly is going to help us as a fifth year. Having Zach Rush back is certainly going to help us. Um, you know, the, the punter. You know, he's, he's going to be a rookie. So, um, you know, he's got to overcome those jitters. His first punt, in fact, against Shenandoah, I think I, the quote is, they're really big and really fast. And I said, yeah, man, that's that's college football. So uh, he's done a heck of a job so far during the preseason, and we're excited about him as well. And, and talk about that with, the, with obviously, the freshman coming in, getting adjusted. Obviously, you have the preseason, the two scrimmages. How have they adapted to playing college football? It's uh, far from finished. Um, you know, a lot of them, you know, really getting going through the homesick piece, the adjustment piece. I'm responsible for all of this. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because my son is also away at school for the first mm -hmm. time. And the, some of the conversations that I've had with him are the exact same conversations I'm having with our guys. But really good, strong class talent wise. Um, we're certainly excited about the future. And, you, you know, you may see some of those guys actually getting an opportunity to play tomorrow night. And then so two part, talk about the schedule first. Obviously, this year with the loss of Lyco and Wilkes, you're going to play everybody in the MAC. So, um, you know, how does it feel to play everybody in your conference in, in one season? It's certainly exciting, you know, to, to rekindle some of the matchups. You know, I, I don't think we've seen Lev Ball in a couple of years, I don't think we've seen Albright in a couple of years. Um, you know, a little bit frustrating from from my perspective. I was a big advocate. You know, get let's get bigger, mm -hmm. let's add more teams, let's go two sides. You know, a little bit a little bit of frustration on that part. I you know I, I prefer the the two non conference game scenario, obviously to set yourself up for postseason. Mm -hmm. um, but again, what's better for the conference? This is what the conference thinks is the best, and certainly I'm behind it 100. percent But you know, again, getting back to you know, kind of the way the league was in 14, 15, you know, when we first came in, mm -hmm. um, you know, 
every Saturday's a slugfest, and, and we're certainly excited about it. And we'll talk about tonight's opponent, Rowan. Obviously, Rowan, a very good program, you know, nationally known. Jay Corsi does a great job up there. Um, what can we expect out of the profs tonight? Physical, fast, athletic, um, well coached, and, and they're going to be really sound in what they do. Um, so for us, again, it's it's about being efficient. It's about um, you know managing mistakes. I think a lot of the first game stuff is managing the mistakes, keeping turnovers to an absolute minimum, keeping you know pre and post snap penalties to an absolute minimum. You know the formational stuff, um, some of the emotional stuff post snap. Um, you know, keeping those jitters and, and some of those first game things in check typically will dictate who the outcome of the game. And obviously, you know, um, one more question I have for you. Playing on a Thursday night, obviously it's, it's fun and exciting, but that does present any challenges in getting ready for a game like this? Not necessarily because for me, today's Friday. Right. You know, we, we, we kind of go back – you know, from week one into camp and start, okay, well, this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday. Of course, I know it's Wednesday, mm -hmm. but in my mind, it's very much Friday, and in the mind of the guys, it's very much Friday. The, the, the real bonus becomes the extra rest day, mm -hmm. uh, Friday, Saturday, right. um, you know, to, heading into week two. It, it does present some academic challenges. Guys are going to miss class. Um, this is the only time all year that we'll actually miss class, and you know, we've done this before, and it, it's exciting to be – I think we are the first game to kick off in all of Division Three, if I'm not mistaken. So there's – everybody's going to be tuned in. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll, we'll play our best and, and have some success. Well, hey, good luck to you, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. It's James Wagner with Ed Hoddle for week number one of the Ed Hoddle Show. We'll talk to you next week as the Mustangs get ready for the Flying Dutchman in Lebanon Valley. As always, go Stangs.